We've calculated the direct light solution from a number of photometric lights in our scene. So we have sent out the initial photons from the light and they've reached their very first surface. If you're working with these lessons, continue from the previous or navigate to the Chapter 5 subdirectory and open the file Chapter 5 Interior Global Illumination 04.max. Unlike Final Gather, that can be enabled in the Render Frame window, we can't enable the global illumination from this window. We need to open the Render Setup dialog. From the main toolbar, click on the Render Setup button. This opens the Render Setup dialog. In the Render Setup dialog, click on the Global Illumination tab. Just an aside, this is the other location we can enable the Final Gather option, but we're not going to do that right now. What we want to do is scroll down until we get to the Caustics and Global Illumination rollout. And in the Global Illumination area, click on the Enable checkbox in order to activate the Global Illumination inside of MentalRay. We're going to accept just the default settings for right now. These are the settings that you'll need to fine tune for the global illumination process to work efficiently and effectively, but that's going a little bit beyond the lesson that we're going to learn here. Click the render button in the render setup dialog to render the scene. This will render the scene and you'll notice that there's some processing going on. This is calculating the photon emission for the lights in our scene. Here, Mental Ray is sending out the photons and tracing where they hit on surfaces and where they bounce to around the room. Now it's going to calculate the indirect illumination. One of the options that we can set for global illumination is also the number of bounces that Mental Ray calculates. By default, there's already a number of bounces associated with the global illumination calculation. A good solution can often be to do a very low quality pass with global illumination followed with the final gather process. What this accomplishes is to make your rough calculations with low settings, a low number of photons, and a low number of bounces. This is to just get a good rough solution that it can then pass to the final gather process to increase the accuracy and result in a gain in both productivity and image quality. You'll notice in the rendering that the global illumination has picked up some color from the red desk causing the wall to have color bleed from the color in the desk. The global illumination pass has transferred both illumination and color from the surfaces in the room to the surfaces each photon is bouncing to. Now global illumination calculation can be adjusted for both speed and quality. There are adjustments on each lamp for the number of photons emitted into the room from each light source. And there's a way to control the number of bounces that's calculated for each photon. So this is a very flexible solution that can be used quite effectively to add indirect illumination to our scene to add to the realism. And if we include this in a rendering with Final Gather, we can get an even better result.